Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you a very simple calculation for another lattice structure. So we will get the lattice parameter and uh, other parameters from the molar mass and the density of a material. And uh, in this video I will introduce the simple cubic structure for you. Simple cubic or SC. Now let me draw the unit cell. So this is as its name uh, suggests. Uh, it's a simple cube. Nothing uh, difficult or complicated. So we just uh, draw our unit cell here and uh, place the atoms on the corners. Just simply eight corners and we have the atoms. Of course in reality uh, I just show the front face of this cube or try to. We have something like this so the atoms are touching each other and then of course if you have the cube then those atoms from the, at the background will touch the atoms in the foreground as well. But uh, we see everything. So as you can see from the previous videos we already know how to calculate the Wigner Zeitz radius so I just simply write it down but I will remind you about the meaning of this uh, radius and uh, NA is still the Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power mole to the minus 1. So what is Wigner Zeit's radius? It's the radius of the sphere which uh, whose uh, sphere's volume equals to the average volume of an atom in the in the material. So then uh, we can create a volume. Let's uh, mark it with the capital W. And then of course number of atoms and then as I mentioned we would like to calculate the volume of an atom or the average atomic volume with the radius of this uh, Wigner Zeitz radius. And then of course we have the volume of the unit cell which since it's a cube is just uh, the cubic A and uh, we would like to equate these two things in order to be able to calculate the uh, lattice parameter in order to be able to express the lattice parameter from the Wigner Zeitz radius and therefore we would like to count down the number of atoms in the cell uh, which has the same size or, or same volume as uh, we calculate with the V uh, we have to use the N and uh, quickly I will show you the N so basically we just have the corners and we have eight of them right but each corner is just one eight uh, contribution uh, to the unit cell. So in total, a simple cubic structure has just one atom per uh, unit cell. So therefore, we just have the volume of a sphere. So basically, we get the following equation equals a squared uh, a to the third power not squared and then we just simply express a from it it's very simple right so we have the lattice parameter and this this was very simple and then uh, I will show you the atomic radius which is even more simple so if we go back to this uh, thingy uh, to the this was bad so if we go back to this uh, unit uh, cell, we see the edge here, 
and then this edge is the, the lattice parameter A, right? And then we can see that this A is basically one R and another R. So what we have here is uh, we can say that the, the lattice parameter is two times R. So therefore the atomic radius is just A divided by two. So this was uh, very, very simple. And then we can immediately jump on an example to get uh, get some numbers for a real material. So let me divide this paper a bit. So I'm not sure if this is the simple, uh, this is the single uh, simple cubic material among the metals, but one for sure that uh, polonium and now we are talking about the alpha uh, allotrope of this material has a simple cubic structure and then the corresponding uh, atomic mass is 208.982 uh, grams per mole and then uh, the corresponding density is 9.196 gram per cubic centimeter. So we have everything now. And then we just simply go through the calculations. I just uh, show you the results. But basically you just uh, substitute uh, the M and uh, rho and NA to the to, to this equation here, I frame it for you. So you put everything inside and you just enter it in your calculator and uh, you will get uh, something like this for the Wigner sites radius uh, picometers or basically 2.084 angstrom. And then once we have this, we can use the equation for the A. Again, it's just plug and chug. So A will be equal to 335.94 picometers or just 3.359 angstrom, like this. And uh, basically, you just divide it by two and you get the R which is 167.97 picometers or uh, 1.6797 angstrom. So this was a very very simple exercise you will probably not get this in an exam, but uh, who knows? It's uh, good to know it because you can never know. And it's a very uh, simple exercise. So I hope you like this video and this exercise. And uh, check the other videos where I go through some more difficult or more complicated lattice structures. And I do this same exercise. So see you in the next video.